Hey everybody, Steve Dangle here with the Sportsnet Fantasy Hockey Draft Kit. Today, we're going to be talking about goalies. Ah yes, everyone's favorite. From Fantasy League to Fantasy League, they grade them completely differently. Different things are of value. Wins, goals against average, neither of those things are actual goalie stats. That's just my personal opinion. Those are team stats. Doesn't matter, they're still there. Thank you to Nick Alberga for coming up with this list. And that is me mentioning that he came up with the list and not me because I really disagree with one of his picks. Start with number five, which I think is actually a pretty decent one. Braden Holtby of the Washington Capitals. So he had a .911 save percentage last season which isn't great, but he had 32 wins and wins are usually in there when it comes to fantasy hockey in 58 starts. That's key, not games he was just thrown into, 58 starts. Now the Washington Capitals have a young backup named Phoenix Copley from North Pole, Alaska, which is my favorite piece of hockey trivia at the moment. And that's great for him and everything, but it means that Braden Holtby is gonna play a lot of games, which is what you look for in a fantasy hockey goalie. Well, that and the fact that he's on a good team. Braden Holtby had a golden age about three seasons ago when he had three consecutive seasons of a save percentage over 920. His .911 last season wasn't very good, but it was better than the 907 he had the year before. So you might not win that category, but if you need a goalie who's gonna be in a lot of games for you and probably pick up a lot of wins, Braden Holtby's safe. Our number four pick is one that I'm not totally sold on. Producer Drew 100% just disagrees with. Connor Hellebuck of the Winnipeg Jets. So last season, Connor Hellebuck started in 62 games. All but 20 of the games that the Jets played were Connor Hellebuck starts. And out of those starts, he picked up 34 wins. To me, that's super appealing. It was a 913 save percentage, which is pretty meh, just like Braden Holtby's last year. And it's down from his Vesna nominated season just the year before. Here's what gives producer Drew pause, and he's not wrong. The Winnipeg Jets lost Tyler Myers and Jacob Truba. Now, regardless of what you think of those two players, you're losing two guys on your right side. And right now, at the time I'm making this video anyway, there's a lot of flux when it comes to the Winnipeg Jets because Patrick Laine, Kyle Connor, neither of those guys is signed. I don't know how badly that affects the Jets defense, but it affects the team as a whole. And this is the key. Like I said, wins, goals against average, those are team stats that are attributed to goalies. That's a big factor when it comes to fantasy hockey. And last season, last season, Connor Hellebuck had a 2.9 goals against average, which was the worst of his career so far. You never know, could go good, could re-achieve Vesna nominee status, and the Jets could make producer Drew look like a silly goose. But keep this in mind, he faced the most shots in the NHL last season, and that was before the Jets lost two guys. Never know, maybe Sammy Niku and Neil Pionk are the answer. But once again, if you want a goalie who's gonna get into a lot of games, which I think is important in fantasy hockey, Connor Hellebuck's your guy. Number three, and once again, I don't come up with the list. That was Nick Alberga. Frederick Anderson of the Toronto Maple Leafs. It is a popular topic in Leafs land and has been for a couple seasons now. I don't see much reason for it to change this upcoming season. Frederick Anderson starts too many games, which for you, playing fantasy hockey, is a good thing. Frederick Anderson, who did experience some injuries last season, started in 60 games and faced the second most amount of shots in the entire National Hockey League. Frederick Anderson was a 917 save percentage last season, 918 the year before that, 918 the year before that, basically unchanged during his Leaf tenure. Very consistent. But again, overuse is a bit of a concern. Nagging injuries is a bit of a concern. But he had 36 wins last season, which was down from the season before, where he had 38, a new record for Leafs goalies. If you want a goalie who's gonna play in a lot of games, win a lot of them, and stop a lot of pucks, Frederick Anderson is a solid, relatively safe pick. Don't worry about the Leafs backup stealing too many starts from them. At the time I'm shooting this video, we don't even know who that guy is. Our second pick among goalies is the biggest goalie in the NHL, Big Ben, Ben Bishop of the Dallas Stars. This is a very interesting pick. Holtby, Hellebuck, Anderson, all the goalies we've talked about so far start the lion's share of the games for their hockey team. Ben Bishop, 
not so much. His goals against average, absurd, 1.98. Ridiculous. Anything minus, under two, what? A .934 save percentage. Again, ridiculous. Are you kidding me? He only started 45 games last season for Dallas, and this is the rub. When he's in net, he's absurd. One of the best, if not the best goalies in the National Hockey League. However, he's gonna play 12, 15 fewer games than other guys who are available. He had 27 wins, which is the least amount of wins out of all the guys that we've talked about so far, but he was still third in shutouts. Bishop has had to battle injuries over the years. He was in a bit more of a platoon role with Anton Hudobin in Dallas, but when he's in the net and you know he's starting, you gotta get Bishop in there because he's money in the bank. Will he start more than 45 games this upcoming year? I mean, I think he's earned it. And our number one goalie, the reigning Vesna winner, easy pick, Andre Vasilevsky. Now he better be the number one goalie in the NHL because after this season where he only makes $3.5 million, what? His eight year, $9.5 million per season contract kicks in with the Tampa Bay Lightning. Oh yeah, by the way, that is a key thing to mention. He's on the Tampa Bay Lightning. Remember I keep railing against, well, wins, goals against average. Those are team stats. He's on the best team, at least when it comes to the regular season. He only started 53 games, which isn't a ton, but he had 39 wins, this guy. That led the NHL. Are you kidding me? He had a 2.4 goals against average and a 925 save percentage. A little cherry on top there, six shutouts, come on. We talk about money in the bank picks. Some goalies are pretty good, maybe even above average, and they play for a great team. Other goalies are fantastic and otherworldly, but their team lets them down a little bit. Andre Vasilevsky is arguably the best goalie in the NHL on arguably the best team. It's funny when it comes to fantasy hockey, you always wonder who's gonna be the first guy to pick a goalie. Well, if it's gonna be you, you better pick Vazzy. That's it for this one. If you wanna see what we pick for the other positions, maybe you need a center or a left winger or something, check out sportsnet.ca or just stick around here on this YouTube channel. Steve Dangle, my face, it's on a bunch of the videos. Check us out. That's it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Click like if you like this video, click subscribe. If you really liked it, tell all your friends that wins and goals against average are team stats and I will die on that hill.